The Wizarding World at Universal Studios is a special place, a must-see and do and top of the bucket list for every Harry Potter fan throughout the world. It's a magical experience chock full of amazing rides and fantastic photo ops. From fire-breathing dragons atop Gringotts Bank to grim-faced goblins and even baby unicorns, the park has it all, perhaps even more than meets the eye. Scratch beneath the surface, turn a few hidden corners, look up at the right time and the wizarding world has a habit of rewarding the curious and the observant. Here are my top 5 not so obvious fantastic hidden photo ops and where to find them next time you visit the wizarding world. Hello my dear wizard. There. Hello my dear wizards, witches, squibs, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. This is Carolina Le Fay. Oh, Hello my dear wizards, witches, squibs, and muggles. I am Carolina Le Fay, and you are watching the Splendid Malarkey channel. Welcome back. Before I begin my new video, I'm going to get you quickly to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can see my future magical videos as they come. So let's begin, shall we? Number 1. Not the Rolling Stones Outside Diagon Alley, to the right, in front of the English phone box, you will find an interesting shop facade. If you look into the window of the record shop, you will see an album by a fictional band, Joe Says No. A lot of people assume the band's name might be a play on words, inspired by the 90s band Right Said Fred. Remember those guys? I am too sexy for Milan. But another story of how this album cover came to be also exists. The rumor is that when the park was being conceptualized, writer J.K. Rowling had final say on every element and was not so receptive to some of Universal's creative ideas. After months of her shooting them down, Joe Says No became a running joke. The creative team took their revenge in a very clever and subtle way. The record cover immortalizing the fact that Joe would always say no. <laughs> Number two, behind the night bus. When exiting King's Cross Station, you're going to come across this giant triple decker purple night bus. And instead of hanging out with Stan and the shrunken head, you're gonna to head to the back of the bus. Yes, the back. And it is full of details, just like Eros. Isn't it beautiful? The bus is an authentic replica from the movie, and it won't disappoint. When heading back there, you're going to find a really cool, discreet place for you to take photos. And there won't be any lineups, and there won't be people asking to go next. So you can take as many photos as you want, with all the details that you want. What my favorite part of this section is the fact that you can go inside and check out the authentic details that is inside the night bus. Number three, Hidden Honeydukes. While the front of the shop may be spectacular, it is always covered with people. I like to take a few pictures without the pressure of people looking at me. Where am I going to do that? Right in between the three broomsticks where they park their prams and the back employee entrance of Honeydukes, you will find a little alley. When you turn that corner, you are going to see some fantastic shop windows. These are the windows where I like to take my time, take some cheeky pictures and have fun. You have a full lighted window and you have a little bit of a darker window to try and use your Alhamora spell, which has not worked so far. So if you know a unlocking spell that will unlock those windows so I can get some of that candy, please do tell me. Number 4, Firewall. When you enter Nocturne Alley from Diagon Alley, you are going to sit on one of the benches below that Nocturne Alley sign and I'm going to get you to look up. And what you will see is one of my favorite interactive signs for Phoenix Fire Lighters. It will slowly burst into flames and regenerate itself again. It's so cool, but I gotta tell you guys, if you keep looking up, you will see a world of cool signs, cool details, and Easter eggs that you have never seen before. I promise you, it is worth the neck pain. It is a new world of discovery in the parks that you never knew. Number five, Creature Peekaboo. Now us magic folk may know about this, but if you stand in front of number 12 Grimold Place for long enough, you will notice Creature popping his head out of the window every couple of minutes to scowl at you for disturbing his peace. Number six, Best Private Photo Op. 
Beside the loo and the dogweed and death cap windows, you're going to head down this alleyway. Now, it may not be a total secret, but it is one of my best private photos. So behind this is where you can sit and dine outdoors from the hogshead and the three broomsticks. And what I like to do is I like to take one of the benches and I like to prop it up against the wall, go sit up on that wall, and take a picture of me right in front of Hogwarts. And lastly, number seven, which please. None of the Harry Potter parks unfortunately have any brooms for you to be able to pose on and take pictures with. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to Toon Lagoon where everything is so crazy colorful and fun to pose on the most oversized, colorful, and awkwardly shaped broom there is. I dare you not to have fun on this broom and take some great pictures. So that is it folks, that is my latest video. I hope you enjoy. It was such a pleasure to hear all the comments and all the see all the likes from my last video. And I was just way too excited. I had to make a new video for you guys because I felt the love and I cannot wait to make more content for you guys. So I hope you have a fantastic day and Carolina Lafay is out. <laughs>